After four years in a row of Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson winning the MTV Best Kiss, finally, it's gone on to someone else. I'm Michael McCrudden. Welcome to IO, where we overload you with information. Now, if you tuned into the MTV Movie Awards, you saw that it was Bradley Cooper who took the award for Best Kiss with his kiss with Jennifer Lawrence from Silver Lining Playbook. Now, Jennifer Lawrence wasn't in attendance because she is in another location filming the Hunger Games sequel, Catching Fire. So Bradley Cooper was there to accept the award. He went on to talk about some of the things he learned researching the character. Now I'm no stranger to running in a garbage bag. It's the best way to lose weight. But the character in which Bradley's playing, this guy suffered from some mental illness, post-traumatic stress. Bradley Cooper when accepting the award, he went on to talk about how much he's seen that going on in America. Guys coming back from the war, from uh, fighting overseas, and what they're dealing with. Apparently more people have died from suicide than out in the battlefields in the past year. So, you know, it's the best kiss award. Bradley, grab Melissa McCartney. She's right next to you. Kiss her. Let's liven things up. This is an award show. It's about being fun. But hey, you pulled on everyone's heartstrings. Nice message to deliver. All right, guys. So the best kiss award, they really didn't have much competition this year. Other than Silver Linings Playbook. The only other nominations were uh, Emma Watson from The Perks of Being a Wallflower, Mila Kunis, and my man Marky Mark from Ted. I was hoping Ted would take the award because he really had a good romance going on with the cashier. That chick was a babe. But they never did any mouth to mouth that I can recall. Unfortunately, they didn't get the award. Also, Moonrise Kingdom, they got a nomination and Django Unchained. But it was Bradley Cooper who took the award. What woman out there doesn't want to make out with this guy? In recent years, there have been some crazy couples to win this award. Actually, it's important to note how many times two male leads have won the Best Kiss Award. American Pie 2, Sean William Scott, and the nerdy guy who plays the lead, Jason Biggs, they won it for their makeout in American Pie 2. We all remember a movie called Brokeback Mountain, Heath Ledger, Jake Gyllenhaal, the two not only made out, they did nasty things in a tent had very few male people attending the movies that year. It's no one an Oscar, but man, I won't be going camping with my buddies. The most iconic MTV Best Kiss Award went to Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams when the two won Best Kiss for their work in The Notebook. Now they reenacted the scene on stage in front of everyone and everyone who's watched The Notebook knows that that one pulls on the heartstrings. Now we were looking for something like that at this award ceremony, but unfortunately Jennifer Lawrence didn't show up. Now here at IO, we got inspired. We want to do the best IO kiss ever, and I have my favorite female cast member coming in. She said she'd do it. I just gotta wait because she's not here yet. When Sandra shows up, um, you know, we're gonna lock lips. We're gonna do a kiss for you guys. It's gonna be great. So, uh, Sandra hasn't made it yet uh, for that kiss I was telling you about, uh, but we can't wait any longer, so uh, just roll the kiss I had with Dave. Something interesting, right? Oh, hey Mike, how's it going? Hey Dave. Hey, how's it, how's wow. it going? Big gap. So, where's Mike? He told me to be here, is he coming? I brought the lip gloss, I don't know why the hell he asked me for the lip gloss. Is he, gonna, is he wearing it or something? Oh my god, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back! 